In this final lesson, we're going to have a look at how do you actually add scripts to that root object, and then how do you access the child elements inside the scene at runtime. So under your sample files, you'll find a scripts folder, and inside that one, I have this script here. Let's have a look at what it does. You can see it's a pretty simple script. It's going to add a context menu option called lights on and lights off. Inside each one of those, it's just running a for each loop where it's looking for all of the component children in whatever it is added to of type light. And then if it finds a light, it will switch it on. And if I use the off option, if it finds a light, it will switch it off. To add it to the scene, I'm going to drag it onto my root object and then run the reflect viewer. Okay, let's open that file again. You'll see now again under instances, I have that model there and let's look for a light. Okay, there's a light that's in the scene. You can see currently it is switched on. If I go back up to my root object so that I can get access to that script there, if I click on lights off, it should run through everything in the scene until it finds that light and switch it off. Let's just go back down. There's my light and you can see now it is switched off. And that is it for accessing child components at runtime.